Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and tonight I have the pleasure to show you another Renovate Ice Note 8 port for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. This time there is a huge update going on and I'll be getting through all the new features the team implemented. I have to say from the beginning that this is going to be by far the best Note 8 port available right now because of one single reason. All the customization options offered by Rice have been officially ported to the Note 8 ROM. On the screen, you have latest updates about this release. Long story short, this ROM is based on the official latest Note 8 ROM firmware running Android 7.1.1, latest Samsung Experience 8.5 and last but not the least, the latest Notorious kernel with box fixes. Now, this is going to be a really in-depth overview so let's get right into it. Starting with the installation procedure, you will need TWRP. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it on your device, check the video in the card section on how to do it. Since this is a new Android version, different from what you've possibly running now, a wipe is recommended before flashing this ROM. If you already have a Note 8 port running, then you can proceed without wiping your data. Anyways, go to install and select the Renovate Note 8 port 1.0 zip. In Aroma Installer you can find the usual Renovate customization options like the ability to debloat your device by selecting which apps you want to be installed, the routing method and that's pretty much it for now. CSE is not yet available. At the end of the installation you can successfully reboot your device, take in mind that the first booting process will take maybe about 5 to 10 minutes. Ok, so my device booted up and the first thing you'll notice compared to the latest ROM based on Android 7.0 is that there is kind of a big difference in terms of smoothness and responsiveness and that's caused by the Android 7.1.1 having a more responsive touch interface. So to clarify some stuff, this ROM is not just a Note 8 port. This ROM is also integrating all the benefits of Android 7.1.1, the customization options offered by Renovate Ice Team. From the beginning, you'll see from the launcher itself that it is the one taking from the Note 8 having these grid sizes in mind. All the Samsung apps from this ROM are taken directly from the Note 8, with one big exception. And that's the Air Command and all the S Pen features. Why is that? Well, simply because they don't work with the S Pen and its pressure sensitivity and hovering features. This ROM is aimed to be stable, fast, customizable, battery friendly, even though it's a port. In this early state, you will see that it is completely fine to run it as a daily driver. What this ROM excels the most is the customization options and that's what I'll discuss about in the following minutes. You can entirely customize the system user interface, navigation bar, other miscellaneous tweaks and of course the well-known color section where you can theme every little icon and notification area on your phone. A couple of days ago I made a full overview of the Rice app. You can check it out in the card section to see the full potential of this app because believe me it is really powerful. As you can notice, I have already set the clock to the left and to show that it's working properly, I will uh, theme some of the icons in the status bar to a more reddish color. So, all the options showcased in my Rice app overview are working perfectly in the Note 8 port. So grab yourself the download links into the description, join the Telegram chat support and start theming your beautiful and fast device. As I said before, all the apps and features were taken directly from the Note 8 firmware, so that you can expect having the app per function for example, which will let you activate two apps by default in the multi-window mode, everything working flawlessly and why not the edge lighting, which also works without a miss. You can notice it in detail by playing a song in the official music app. The edge screen is also great, having all the stuff integrated from the S8. Let's talk a bit about the camera app, because that's the most discussed app so far. It is also taken from the Note 8 and uh, as you can see it is pretty much different compared to the stock S8 one having the full view option integrated, but what I really wanted to tell you is that all the options that were causing the video recording to fail were erased from the settings menu. I'm talking about video stabilization and shape correction. They can't be fixed at the moment. Samsung will need to release the official 7.1.1 from the S8 so that the dev team can fix those problems. Apart from that, 
camera is working perfectly fine out of the box without any bugs or whatsoever. I heard a lot of people experiencing GPS or Bluetooth problems with all the Note 8 ports and this time as you will see in the video I couldn't find any problems. I can connect my device to both my bedroom audio system and a portable speaker and they are working flawlessly in dual mode as well as separate. So Bluetooth works fine. What about the GPS? GPS was of course a big issue but Faravitus, the dev of the notorious kernel managed to fix it and as you can see I managed to get a fix right next to my balcony which is great. Game performance was great as expected pretty much the same FPS as on the stock S8 here so that's not really something new. The overall speed and smoothness is at a high level. I also made a Geekbench test and um, these are the numbers I got at the end. Again pretty much the same as on the S8 firmware running Notorious Kernel but you'll have to see it by yourself. The ROM is way smoother and faster. So to sum up what I can say, this is by far the best Note 8 port available for the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus right now. A lot of you ask what happened to the Wicked Score. Well, Wicked Score is suitable only for device specific ROMs, not for ports. Because on ports there will be always a thing not to work properly as it should as you saw the video stabilization, but let's say I'll get over that. If I would have to give this ROM a score, it would be again a definitely 5 out of 5 because of the work implied in this project and the final result, which is absolutely stunning. Great job, Renovate team. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe right under my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the notification icon to receive all my new updates. This was Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. I hope you appreciate my video, thanks for watching and until next time as always. Take care, Wicked is out, bye bye.